Hi. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to episode six of the Skeeter Hawk and Sugar Bear Show. Sugar Bear and Skeeter Hawk. Sugar Bear and Skeeter Hawk Show. So how was your day? It was good. That's good. What's going on with you, baby? I learned that I'm an existentialist. I don't know what that means. Basically, um, okay, so ex existentialists are kind. Of, you can kind of group them in with like optimists or cynists. Wait, what? What's the other one? Pessimist. Yeah, optimist, pep, pessim, pessimist, realist, and. <laughs> oh, and existentialist. Mm. Kind of. Not everyone sees it that way. But I am starting to see it that way. So, like, an optimist would always see th sees things in a positive light. There's always a reason for everything. A pessimist always seeing, sees things in negative light. Everything has a bad reason. Or basically, existentialist means that there is no meaning to life. So, you basically get to do whatever the fuck you want with your life. And that causes, like, people who don't know what this is usually causes a lot of anxiety because not everyone thinks that way. So it's like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. And also, m my value system is a lot different from, obviously, like, the majority of society because um, a lot of my thought processes are centered around death and like the shortness of life so i just don't see the mm. value in a lot of smaller things that like an optimist would be like oh i i need to go to work and have a good day because yeah. whatever you know what i mean like right. that's not all optimists but it's just a different way of thinking how you're existential from living your life in like a first person view you see it more as a, like a big picture third person view where it's existential. I don't know what else, what other word to use, but yeah. I'm an existentialist. <laughs> what about you? What's something you learned lately? How aggravating... How aggravating procrastination is alongside over, overwhelming courses. I saw, I was listening to this song the other day and the intro was this guy talking about how you see so many young people worried about um, following their dreams because they're more worried about making money. So they like put off their dreams or they call it a hobby or whatever and yeah. don't ever believe in it and they'll wait till they make money in order to follow out those things. But he was saying he, the way he approached his dream was if I end up broke, oh well. Like I still and I still spent my time doing what I love to do. So, yeah. did I really go wrong? And that was life changing for me because I've been so back and forth with trying to either get a job or focus heavy on the content and like making my own path and stuff. And so thinking about it, like recently, I've been playing with the idea like, what if we end up broke? What if we end up without? A mansion or without millions of dollars you know like yeah. what if i instead of working towards that lifestyle of wealth you know what i mean if i actually just focus on enjoying my life and not giving a fuck about how much money is in the bank at the end of the day yeah. what would that look like and definitely less stressful yeah i mean the last few days i've just been chilling like i really don't need to make money in order to enjoy this day it's really to me who Whoever can take on the most stress gets paid the most money. Yeah, but it's <laughs> dumb because it's stress you don't even need to be taking on. Like, I mean, but it's a it's a stress you choose to take on for the money. Right, so but, it's not but even, you don't. But like, I feel like as a society, we don't even need to be working towards having more money than the rest of us. Yeah. Because for what? Are you being fed? Are you healthy? Are you happy? Do you have you know? Yeah. And the things that you want, that you need more money for, sure, want those things, get those things, but is your intention just to look good or is your intention, like, to enjoy it, you know? Instead of wanting my piece of the pie, I'm like, I am the pie. I had a visualization about what I would look like as an art therapist. And I think that group therapy would be the coolest thing, and, like, every evening I hold a little class where everyone comes in and I already have like all the art um, 
materials like paint and stuff to draw with or whatever but every night monday through friday i have like a prompt like a shadow work prompt or today let's let's tune into this part or that part or whatever mm -hmm. i always like give them a little bit mm -hmm. and then on sa saturdays i have open studio all day where anyone can come in and paint more talk just be there like whatever it's just a space for people to come and just be and like that like i don't want it to be a clinical thing where you come in and like how yeah. are you feeling today you know like I just fucking hate therapy, but I think that that would be so cool because it's like community healing. It's not a process you're going through. It's a thing that you've implemented into your life that makes you happy. Yeah. And sometimes sad, but the good kind of sad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm really excited to try and do something. <laughs> I tried sugar waxing this week. <laughs> and use the rest of the sugar. All of it. Okay. We have no more. We're getting more. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be great. I thought I was going to wax my whole body, head to toe. But nope. Couldn't get it off my toe. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get it up to 245 degrees. It's like, what? What are you making, a bomb? <laughs> I stirred that shit for like 45 minutes Man, you straight. had me worried. <laughs> I was like, she finna cast a spell on somebody. <laughs> it's a hex. My Merkaba. <laughs> it looks like a advanced ass Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I think they have triangular Rubik's Cubes. You sure? Yeah, they have them in different shapes now. Them smart motherfuckers made I that. I know, right? <laughs> that girl I watch on YouTube who does crafts. She made so many characters that she made a Rubik's Cube and each square had a different character of hers and she painted it. Well, she did it with like digital art, but she made it. And then Rubik's was like, yo, let's make a real one. And they did. What? Rubik's Cube, you can go on their website and it's a Rubik's Cube of all of her characters, her YouTube characters. Seriously? Yes. It's like yeah, some like, like drawing? Yeah, like all of her drawings she's done of the over the years. Mm. Yeah, that was cool. I wanna be a famous YouTuber. I just wanna have interaction. <laughs> You're already a famous YouTuber. I know, I know. You're very famous to me. Yeah? What do you mean? How you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> the way you talk to everybody. Yeah, you just, yeah, seem like I'm your security guard. You just laying low. <laughs> That's fucked and up. And I'm guarding you. How? I don't know. I feel like you're more of, like, my co-partner in the show. <laughs> you know? You might not be in every clip, yeah. but you're a part of everything. Yeah. How's your chest been? It's been good. Especially on the bike ride. It was nothing. Yeah. That's good. That was a nice was day. Was it actually, you was, you was just playing or was it actually a hard bike ride? Yeah, I was just playing. You was just playing? <laughs> <laughs> I was so tired. Oh my I God. felt it in my abs and the top of my thighs. And I was like. <laughs> it was not that bad. <laughs> yes, it was. I had a and ball. my first gear is shit. It might as well not be there. I literally go like this and I don't. Go anywhere, Your first but then, gear? but then I go to the second gear, and I'm like, God, yeah. I didn't realize this was an uphill. But, yeah, but your 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 second your first gear is a good cruise gear. I guess maybe, but it's so hard. Like, if you just, I need you, one in between the you, first and the second. Is my only point. I, I I, first I could, gear can exist, but I need something in between. I wish I could do a muscular analysis. I need a one and a half riding a bike to see if you're doing it right. I feel How like you, you do working it wrong? too. That bike when I ride it is like heaven. So Why I don't, don't you know. just take my bike? I like no, your bike. No. I know yours hurts because you're like almost <laughs> inverted. Like you're on top of the front wheel. I got yeah. on it and I almost first of all I almost tripped getting on. And then I was on and I was like, What the hell? Yeah. Like this is so weird. Yeah. 
That's what I'm telling you. Because you got to... Like, I think that's you made for, like, a bike. white man who lives in New York and bikes to work, and he's like this. He's in a suit, but also has a helmet on. Like, that's <laughs> what I see. That's what I felt like when I was riding it. And I was like, I do not belong here. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, my car broke down for the day, so I'm biking. Not even. You, you're you you're an enthusiast in biking. You also <laughs> will go and get a coffee and put it in a coffee holder and then bike further to oh work. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's what that bike feels like. <laughs> That shit is work. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, all the bikes I've ever rode with you is... I've had the shitty in the Yeah, state. the blue one. That bike didn't that even bike have, was probably, The tires weren't even pumped That up. bike was probably 18 years old. I was riding old. a flat tire bike. I rode that shit 12 miles. That's so terrible. I was struggling. <laughs> I felt like I was in the fucking marathon. Not getting paid. <laughs> That's not bad. There's no like, metal at the, the end. What in the world, bro? <laughs> I am funny. never biking again. I'm like, come on, babe, let's do two more. <laughs> Want to take the long way home? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> and it hurts your, like, crotch area. It wasn't yeah. even comfortable to ride. I know. I'm sure like, it was That's wasn't. why I always rode it standing up. <laughs> that bike sucks. Double work. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was your mom's bike. <laughs> I swear, it's probably at least 15 years old. It's an <laughs> old bike. <laughs> like, I felt <laughs> Mine isn't too bad because it's like a seat. It's not yes, just that little. you low. have something to sit on yeah. and you're flat-footed. I'm telling you, that bike, I'm not that bike is like how I work out. You're flat-footed. No, that bike flat-footed. I have to pedal with my not. toes. You I'm can confused. push on the bike. That's flat footed. That's flat foot technology. Like you, you have leverage oh, on the you're pedal. You're not using all your no. muscle. Mm. I'm just, I see. Yeah. I understand. But what was I saying? Yeah, I really We need up. to get rid of yours. So whoever wants a bike, head us up. <laughs> it's basically new. It is. It's literally like it's been. We got it no, last no, we're year. talking about my new bike now, not the sucky bike. No, no, no. Yeah, this is the new, a, the, the New York bike. man bike. Yeah, the New, the new York, York bike. bike. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, I love it. It looks classical. Yeah, but, I just didn't uh, realize, I tires. never realized that the science of a bike can change your ride. I thought all yeah. bikes were the same. So when you were slow, I was like, damn, he must like... No. really be out of shape with something because like this mm. is easy so then i was like okay i'm kind of tired too so maybe i should just take it down a little bit and you're skating, walking up skating. there <laughs> you was moving i couldn't even ride that bike man i'm so I sorry i had to walk, had to walk the it. whole thing and i had to pee the whole time that was yeah, terrible for yeah. both of us you was riding you were probably in a worse position I just gotta get a bike that I want. I want to ride the bike in the yes, store before I buy I know. I I, no more surprise bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I didn't realize it. I love that you went and got it for me. That shit made my fucking. This girl, year. I checked out, <laughs> and it was a girl who was like the bagger or whatever, and she was the one who was assigned to helping me get this in our car, our small okay. ass car. <laughs> So we, she like rolls it out. I have my bag of whatever else I got, and she rolls it out. And I open one door on trail, and I'm like, okay, just put it back here. I'm sure it'll fit. And it didn't, so I had to put both windows down, and I had to be on one side pulling it. And she had to push it on the other. Terrible. I was like, this was the worst idea I've ever. <laughs> why? 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 Why do I choose these kinds and, of surprises? And the thing, I, I like the small bikes too, like on the BMX one with the. Oh, bars. yeah. Oh, the bars, I yeah. love those. You want me to ride on the it, too, huh? Gear... <laughs> been a, that's the single gear bike. Like, you can't change the gears. Yeah, yeah. But how is that easier to ride up and down these hills? Like I ain't, I ain't <clears throat> say it was going to be easier. So you want two bikes. <laughs> <laughs> no. How about we get you a good bike like mine and just put bars on it? <laughs> I think that's really just what how you How much want. was your bike? I don't know. Expensive. I've... Probably, because we all, that summer we went and my dad, I went with my dad and we all got a new bike and they were all like that. I had a purple one, my dad had a black one, I think Kaysen's was green, but we basically all got to choose our bikes and I was like, what? I felt like I got a new car. Uh, seriously, I yeah. did not get off that bike. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling oh. through these. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was I was in love with that bike. I am in love with that. Like it's only gotten better decorating that bike. Whenever I roll around, I'm like yeah, it's my bike. But it's slightly a hazard with it, when it's really windy. My first time, my front tire be like. <laughs> oh, because it's got, it's, yeah. yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm like. I'm good. I'm good. I'm here. I gotta focus. It's too much air resistance. <laughs> when, I, when I went out on the night ride, it was so windy and so cold. I had tears coming down my face from just from it being cold. <laughs> and I was listening to music. Like, yeah, this is exactly what I needed. <laughs> it fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> not too loud. No. <laughs> I say, look, I'm not gonna. <laughs> you chose this motherfucker. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure you were singing this morning, right outside our window. Yelling. Yelling. I'm trying to nap now. <clears throat> they yelling. <clears throat> Screaming. <laughs> Scream. Ah! What the fuck? I literally almost shouted, "Shut the fuck up!" I was going. And through. I was like, "No, we gotta live here this whole summer. I can't do it on the first day. I'm sorry." <laughs> I don't even know their names yet. Yeah, and weird. also, we slept in till 12, so, like, <laughs> can I really be mad? Yeah, we did. But it was sunny when we were yelling at them in our minds. <laughs> it was sunny outside. That's funny. And we just sit in here and be hot. <laughs> I, I wanted hot. to turn on the AC, but I was so lazy. I just, like, oh it ain't God. that hot. Bro. I'm just good. tell me. <laughs> I wasn't even hot. It ain't hot that hot. I'm straight. <laughs> Me in there sweating. Like, oh, I'm good. So I'm for good. real, I want to cuddle with you and you're already, like, sticky. Like, okay, love you. <laughs> I'm going to stay on my side. <laughs> it feel like we in a, 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 a hot pocket. <laughs> Ew. That's hot disgusting. Pocket. I hope they sponsor us after that. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this is okay. not sponsored. Yeah, it's not sponsored. Sorry. We don't uh, have a copyright to that slogan. <laughs> dis disclaim everything. <laughs> We not this time. I just wanna. I just want my baby to be able to post her videos. All right. So none of that. We ain't claiming nothing. We don't need no money yet. Hot pocket. Can you put the pizza box by the door? Look like a pizza box. I'm expecting. You can't make that kind of a joke. I'm sorry. What was the last thing you called me? <laughs> whatever you said. I tell you, whenever you say something, I'm like you. I just. But you always you choose the worst one. Look, I can look. be like, look, it's Kylie Jenner. You don't say it then. I, what? No. I don't want you to fucking... You know what? Anyway, I'm just saying. This, it, this anyway. Fun. You remember the assignments in school? They give you a sentence. And it's like, adjective, noun, verb. But it's a blank. You can choose whatever. Wait, this is Mad Libs. I was telling you about that the other day. We got to get one because it's so funny. That's what I'm talking about. Can I'm we? explaining that. I said, can you we? said, oh, there, 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 the pizza box. My <laughs> mind said, pizza box. You look like a pizza. That's all. That's how it works. That's the opposite of choosing the adjective. You just chose the sentence around an adjective. No, it's always you look like. That never changes. Do you not get it? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. If you say a pack of glasses, I was playing you look like your game. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You sound like a toad. A toad? <clears throat> yeah. No, it's more like. <laughs> uh -uh, it's gotta be louder. You've never heard the croak of a toad? Higher. What? Higher than that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not so airy. It has to be more. Yeah. No, you're still. No. Yeah. <laughs> you walk outside. The Kermit the Frog edition. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Yeah, the Muppet. I know who you talking about. I just can't hear his Oh, wang. Like that? Uh, I don't know. How does Kermit talk? I don't know. You, you, you look you look up there, buddy. I think that's how he talks. <laughs> yeah? I think so. You like this? You In inserts clip here. That's because they believed in me. <laughs> <laughs> where they do Wild and Out at? Like, where is the actual building? Isn't it in... Is he not from, like, Atlanta? Nick Cannon? I feel like that'd be an Atlanta spot. From. But I, I want to say him. East Coast somewhere. I think Drumline was based in the 
ATL competition. So he yeah. might be in, I don't know. Maybe. That's how hype bands used to be. Bands had a movie, ain't that crazy? That I mean, I wish they were more. <laughs> I would rather watch a band perform for two hours in a fucking football game. Truth be told. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Unless I know the people playing, like, yeah, it's fun to cheer for your for your people or whatever, but if it's something, like, a Super Bowl that I don't care for, you know, it's like... I don't really care for I'll watch Beyonce like in either. the middle, but oh, mm, yeah. I don't need to see anything else. <laughs> Why am I here? Other than the commercials. The commercials are also... The Super Bowl commercials yeah. always come with it. I would literally go to the bathroom while the football was playing and be like, call me back when the commercials come on. The football ain't bad. It's just... It's weird. It's just um, repetitive. It's, yeah, it's like NASCAR, but more mentally complex. <laughs> look, 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 offense, offense. Couldn't beat the defense? Punt. Offense, offense. Couldn't beat the defense? Punt. Offense. Oh, you beat the defense. Points. Touchdown. Seven points. <laughs> yeah, it's just All back right. and forth. That's one quarter down. <laughs> <laughs> That's three quarters. No, that was one what quarter. What I just said was three. Possessions average like ten minutes, so you know what I mean, right? From, yes. What about punt? When you kick it. For what reason? For the others to receive it because you didn't make it out of your 10 yards. Oh. Ew. I'm disgusting myself with the amount of knowledge I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Impressive. <laughs> Thanks. It's literally the opposite. Impressive. I love it. Um, Kickoff. Which one? The first one. What about it? What's the point of it? <laughs> to start the game. That's where... You either take a knee and start there, or you run as far as you can, and you progress as far as you can. Well, how did you get to that first step? The ref flipped the coin and said, you guys have it. <laughs> All right, we're on the same page. And then it starts from the <laughs> offense, you take the knee, and yeah. if you, or run, then offense, offense, can be defense. Yeah. And basically, it's a big circle. It's just mentally complex. My family are huge football enthusiasts, so... Oh, yeah, I've, I'm sorry, I insulted your nose. Yeah, you've seen my dad's basement, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shrine of football. But you know, you know a lot, though. You knew more than I thought you knew. Because I watched it for my entire childhood. What's Wait, your favorite color? Green. Why? I told you, because it, it represents abundance in life. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, green. Green is hope. <laughs> like on Wally. You know, green is the color of your heart chakra. And that's the color it makes it represents. Sense, the core. Nature. So natural. You know, also they say that the next um, collective upgrade or ascending will happen with the heart chakra and more so moving into more love. Actions based out of love instead of fear. So leading with their hearts, seeing people with compassion and love. But it makes sense. Every time yeah. I find an issue in society or in my life or whatever, it's always because of fear. Whether I'm afraid or they're afraid, someone is afraid of something and they're acting out because of it. Yeah. And it's most likely a made-up problem. <laughs> 100% of the time. Yeah. Especially the dumbest bullshit. The shit that gets you the most angry is the most made-up problem. Like, racism does not have to exist. <laughs> Why are you this angry? That man who went out, spent $12 on a sticker that said, Fuck BLM. Why are you this angry? You don't have stickers about shit else in life. That's a made up problem. I'm telling you, like, if... <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know how to word this, but... <laughs> I feel Sorry. like I feel like I feel like that type of action is like stepping on an ant bed. Like you thought you was gonna kill some ants, but you just pissed a thousand ants off for no you. reason. Right. No, no. Next time they're gonna move a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah. They know what gets you angry. Yeah. And if you stand there and try to prove a point, they're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're gonna freak you into a jelly bean and take you, kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> make yes. you work yes. that that is why that movie is why I'm afraid of ants you talking about ant bully they did what 
They shrunk him to the size of a jelly bean, kidnapped him to the colony, and then made him understand the life of an ant so that he would no longer Lying. terrorize them. Yes. You want to watch it? It's a great movie. I think I watched it, but I didn't grasp the plot You like need that. to watch it again, especially you, Mr. <laughs> X-Ant Bully. I No, I didn't bully ants. I said I tried to take care of him. I had an ant form. Yeah, you had an ant only form. I, had, I ain't gonna lie. It was a, I had a point in my life where I did bully ants. But it's because they killed a baby squirrel. Oh, yeah. You told me about that. I, I, you were upset. I was it was vengeful. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't just out of being a dumb no, kid. I just had That's to... That's actually really empathetic. That's sweet. For real. I was stepped on every... I, it was like a year of my life. Fuck you. You, yeah. you. And then I just came to terms with that. It just, it's natural. Yeah. I see roadkill, all that. I'm like, man, everything you have to happen. When I was little and we would go on road trips or whatever, I would count the roadkill. And I, every time I would go past one, I would, like, bless it to move on or whatever. <laughs> that was the first time I ever grilled. That was good, too. Those, uh... Were they veggie? veggie? They, the first ones we had, yeah, they were the Italian vegetarian they ones. Bad. They were good. And also those chicken sausage ones. I, I want to start making some more vegetarian stuff on the skillet. I just like flunk, whatever I'm doing. I'm not. Is it flame? I don't know. Because it's an open flame. When you, I think it's when you cook uh, over. I think the flame has to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. It is a propane flame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still like feel like thing. it though. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, man. Well, thank you for coming to episode six of our show. Um, peace <laughs> out. <laughs> this is our ending. Deuces.